Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the main wash pump kit in a GE dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 5 8 open end wrench, 70 millimeter nut driver, quarter inch nut driver, Phillips screwdriver, and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new main wash pump, the harness, the instructions, and several hose clamps. The main wash pump circulates water inside the dishwasher, washing the dishes. It operates by the main control board. The main reasons why the main wash pump would need to be replaced is if the impeller breaks off or the motor burns out, causing the dishwasher not to work. Sometimes the main wash pump housing cracks, causing a water leak. To get to the part, we need to open the door. Roll out the uh, lower dish rack and then we can pick it up. To remove uh, the spray arm, so this is the lock nut. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise looking from the top and pull it off. To remove the adapter plate, we need to remove these four quarter inch screws. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver and we're going to take them one by one out. Now we need to open these two tabs. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. Pop it open and pull this out. I'm gonna do it again. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna remove this uh, seal from the tube. It's a uh, supply tube seal. Pull it forward. We don't want to lose it. To remove the dishwasher, we need to take out a couple of Phillips screws that uh, holds it to the countertop. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve, just in case of the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open-ended wrench, take off the water line. And uh, using the 7 millimeter nut driver, I'm going to loosen up that clamp, move it down, and then I'm going to take off the holes from the air gap. Be careful, it might have some water in there. Alright, now I'm going to pull out the dishwasher. I'm gonna Hold it here and slowly pull it out. Lift it up. So now we're gonna place the dishwasher on the side. We need to remove this hose clamp. I'm gonna use the flat blade screwdriver. I'm gonna pry this clamp open. And now we can remove it and discard it. So now we're going to remove the second clamp. Uh, using the flat blade screwdriver, we're going to pry it open. We can discard it. So now we need to remove the main wash pump by pulling it to the side, so we're going to release this hose, the one at the bottom, and this retainer on the top here. So now we're going to open this clamp here on the side. I'm going to bend it with a flat blade screwdriver. And turn it around, and the same thing on this side. 
I'm going to remove the cover. And we're going to unplug the uh, motor plug here. This is the old main wash pump next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Now we're going to disconnect the turbidity sensor plug. I'm going to press down on that locking tab, pull it out. Then I'm going to pull out this clip here. And then we can disconnect the flood switch sensor. Again, push on the locking tab and disconnect it. And I'm going to take that harness out of the way. I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver to press down on the locking tab. So we can disconnect the uh, motor plug uh, from this uh, drain pump motor. We need to remove this uh, quarter inch screw that holds the hanger. And I'm using a nut driver. And pull it out. Now I'm going to use the 7 millimeter nut driver and I'm going to loosen up this clamp. I recommend you to use a towel or the container to put it under the pump because uh, you can have some water left in the drain tube. I'll slide the pump off. And we can put it down out of the way. So now the sump assembly is held in place by three locking tabs. We can open them by rotating two of them counterclockwise and one of them clockwise. And now I'm going to push the sump assembly inside. Okay, now we need to uh, put the dishwasher upright momentarily just to uh, remove the sump. And I'm going to take it to the table and install the main wash pump. All right, so I'm going to bring this sump assembly to the table and start installing the uh, main wash pump with uh, putting that clamp on. And we'll slide it down out of the way. Then I'm going to use a little bit of soap here and here. And that's, uh, that's a new wash pump. And slide the clamp on that uh, hose here. And also we'll put it out of the way. Push it more in. And now we are doing uh, three things at the same time. We're going to connect this, connect this, and uh, hook this into this opening. All right, so now I want you to look at this uh, this connection here, and this connection, and this connection. So we've done all three, and now we can uh, slide this clamp on, and now we're going to tighten. They're both 7 millimeter, so I'm using the same nut driver, and it's ready to go back into the dishwasher. Let's open the door so we can install the sump. Before installing it back, uh, I would like to clean the seat. Make sure it's uh, there's no foreign objects in there. It's very important. All right, let's uh, bring in the sump and uh, insert it. We'll have this cut out here. That goes right under the tube. And I can push it down. Now I'm going to close the door and uh, put it on the side. I'm going to place it back on the side carefully so the sump would not come out. So now I'm going to close the three locking tabs by uh, sliding it over the tub.
All right, it's secured now. I'm gonna start with placing that uh, hanger in. I need to uh, use a quarter inch nut driver. I'm gonna push it in a little bit and uh, start it. Don't uh, don't tighten yet. I need to maybe push it in a little bit uh, like that. Okay. Then we're gonna place the drain pump onto the hanger. Uh, that uh, it goes into this opening that was marked with a black dot on it. I'm gonna slide it in. And then we're gonna put the sub pump onto the sump outlet. Well, make sure that the clamp is already on. Push it on. And slide the clamp. And I'm gonna tighten it with seven millimeter socket wrench. And then I'm gonna tighten this screw with a quarter inch nut driver. Now I'm gonna connect all the harness plugs. I'm gonna put one into this uh, main wash pump and go to the drain pump. And I'm gonna go here, place the harness over and I'm going to uh, plug this uh, sensor and then this clip goes in and the turbidity sensor All right now I'm gonna put the power cord in and then drain hose and we can uh, place the dishwasher upright and we can uh, slide the dishwasher under the countertop. Now we're gonna duck under the counter and pull out the drain line, water supply line and the power cord. And we can continue installing the dishwasher. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve and tighten it using 5 8 open ended wrench. And then we can take out the towel and the container. Now I'm going to install the drain holes to the air gap and push it on and slide the clamp on. I'm going to tighten it using the 7 millimeter nut driver. And next we're going to secure the dishwasher to the countertop with a couple of Phillips screws. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to tie it up so it wouldn't go anywhere. And we're going to slide on the uh, supply tube seal. And then I'm going to install the adapter plate. Slide it on. I need to push it in so that the tabs on the side will lock on the tube. All right. And then we can push down the adapter plate. And uh, next, we're going to secure it with the four quarter inch screws. And then I'm going to use the uh, quarter inch nut driver and tighten the screws. Next, we're going to install the lower spray arm. I'm going to place it into the tube, turn it slightly, it's going to drop in, and then we're going to turn that lock ring clockwise, looking from the top.
Now I can install the lower dish rack, slide it in, and close the door. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in, and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.